Okay, let's continue. So now we go down because we can check out the big gun thing. But we'll come back. I promise. Thank you, swear. Okay, kill this guy. Now go here. Ignore him for now. Kill this guy. And look, it's a shield guy. Let's use a grenade. Oh no. Let's use another grenade. Is he dead now? I think so. Okay. Now we can collect all this useful stuff lying around. Is something there? Oh no, that's just my imagination. Let's go here, because there is a reward in this corner. Oh, more ammo. Ta-da! Okay, so our goal now is to find out the energy source, so that afterwards we can use that machine. Kazakhstan is absolutely unoriginal in this regard. Seems like pretty much all the puzzles require us to power on something somewhere to progress. Anyway, now we have to go up. So jump here, swing. I said swing, Lara. That's better. And jump to that rope. Okay, let's jump to that pipe. And actually you can see a reward in the cage, which will take later because we are quite busy right now. Now we need to wait until that bluish spark will go down and then jump. For example, now would be a good moment to jump. Excellent. Let's wait a bit. Oh yeah, we are done. Again, this white thing, I don't know what it's for, but now we actually can get the reward. Just throw a grenade and the door will explode. Great. Oh, we are stuck in the fire, how lovely. But anyway, at least we can grab the reward. Okay, let's go see what's behind that door. <gasps> oh. Absolutely nothing. Just a long corridor with some things on cables. Okay, nothing interesting. Just our everyday gymnastics program. Lots of guys in this room, so let's quickly deal with them. And look! Those barrels decided to explode for no apparent reason. But I didn't shoot them. It's like... Hmm, I'm a barrel and I'm bored. Hmm, what should I do? Oh, I know! Let's blow up! <laughs> yeah. Okay, we can climb that ladder because it's too high, so we need to pull this energy source and now we can climb on it. Of course I do. But the question is, do you know that? Oh, okay, Lara. Uh, tell her if you want to. Well, yeah. Don't you have one in your mansion? Well, I know that you know which ones are the red ones, so like, I don't know, this is really going nowhere. Just forget I said that. Anyway, the path to the control room is clear, so let's go there. I 
I suppose an unlucky scientist is someone who had his research budget cut, or someone who dropped an expensive piece of equipment. So this, this is another dead scientist. So what scientific application does the thing have exactly? Really? This thing has everything. Seriously, I wouldn't be surprised if there is a Batman's utility belt hidden somewhere in her brag. In her... <laughs> in her grapple. <coughs> Lion should really think about making a portable version of this device. That would be so sweet. I mean, both battles would end after one hit from that thing. I know, right? Wait... You prefer doorknobs? You usually kick the damn door! Oh, guys, look, it's done, it's so suspenseful! What's gonna wait us around the corner? Oh... Just another puddle? So we just have to pull these cables with grappling hook and quickly run through before they swing back. If there are two cables, you just have to do that for each one. Like so. And again. And that's all there is to it. Yeah, don't listen to him. What we really have to do is get the panel out of the way and we're in business. Just like that. Yeah, well, that's not what I was going to say. Can you even have a Christmas in hell, I wonder? Gee, thanks a lot. Okay, take two. Okay, there is another shiny white thing that's definitely not a white. Gotta be careful with these doors. And we are back where we started. Only this time the turret is hot. Yeah, full power ZP. Okay, so now we need to clear our way to the door. Let's throw barrels at them. Cause it's fun. See? Fun. And somehow they are not dying. Why aren't you dying? Do you need more bells? Here, take it. Finally, I think we killed one of them. Okay, that was uncalled for. And there are no more barrels, unfortunately. Well, we'll just have to use these crates. The good thing is, they don't explode. The bad, it's still hard to hit someone. Okay, only one left. Never mind, there's actually two of them left. No, let's just carefully. Yay! Now there is only one left. And sin. Oh, almost forgot. We have to get rid of those crates if we're gonna go for the gold reward.
and push this platform all the way to the right. Just a little bit more. Done. It's actually not that easy to do. At least when playing on the PC. At least for me. We're also gonna need this block. That should be good enough. Let's try to make a diagonal jump. Well, apparently that wasn't good enough. We're gonna try this again. Still not good enough. Okay. Guess we have to push that block all the way to the edge. And... Success. Now let's grab a reward. It's right around the corner. There is our platform. The torch. Cause you really don't want to fall down here, trust me. Some more jumping. That's the reward we are trying to get. Almost there. Okay, that should be it. Yep, we now have all of the rewards for this level. So now all that's left for us to do is to fight a boss. But before that can happen, we still have some obstacles to overcome. Let's quickly change our weapon. Poisonous corridors, which we all should be familiar with by now. Ooh, shiny spots. Let's attack them for massive damage. This one's still relatively easy. You just have to duck. Like so. And the last section is the hardest, naturally. Nothing we can handle, though. At least I hope so. Go to the very edge. Use the grappling hook. And then jump right before it hits you. So you land on the platform. Now let's go see a cutscene. This one's pretty easy, at least if you know what you are doing. First we are going to pull four levers that prevent the thing up top from being lowered. Yep, that thing. Anyway, pay no attention to the demon. For now just concentrate on the levers. That's true. Just watch out so you don't get hit by the projectiles. That's three. Last one left. Oh, got a bit lucky there. Zipper may not know what to do, but fortunately we do. We have to get the demon to rotate in order to activate the boss point. And to accomplish that, we just have to keep shooting him. Oh, no, you actually have to pull him. And then throw him to that circle thing. Okay, that does it. 
now we have to push this giant metal things so we can activate the force field and that's it the boss defeated not dead but defeated hey Unfortunately, there was some nonsense about the discovery of the real King Arthur's tomb here years ago. Soon discredited, and yet another roadside attraction was born. Well, let's see what we can see, shall we? At least it should be educational. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you later guys.